It was an interactive history lesson. About 55 students from Noonan High School met with veterans from wars as far back as World War II. Their goal was to exchange stories. Our CBS 46 at Bill Beth Yates tells us the students say interactions, they were priceless. From speaking to a 100 year old World War II vet to learning about war rations, high school students got a first hand account of wartime. I always volunteer for things that I want to do. 100 year old William Muskenfuss shared his stories of World War II with Noonan High School students, and he wasn't alone. We didn't have very many planes who could go up and protect Pearl Harbor from the invading Japanese aircraft. We had, though, about six or seven planes that got off the ground. The conversations were a part of the student veteran program at Christian City Senior Living Community. Learning in the classroom is one thing, but actually getting to talk with these veterans truly gives us a true understanding of what it was really like for them to serve. And the group of about 55 students got firsthand accounts of multiple conflicts. When I first got there, I lived at Vung Tau. It was kind of a resort area. And then we moved up to uh, Saigon to Long Bend base. We built schoolhouses and roads and did, you know, anything we could to improve the Vietnamese villages down there. Didn't work, but we tried. The stories were endless and they even included the perspective of children growing up in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, the birthplace of the atomic bomb. These are uh, ration books that we used during World War II and you see here on this plaque it explains what the symbols of each stamp, what you could buy. Like for instance here, uh, airplane, one pair of shoes. Now, if you ran out of rations, ration stamps, you just didn't get it. In all, about 10 Christian City residents shared their experiences, and the teachers who helped organize the event say the results were priceless. We're teaching about it, and we know a lot about it, but we weren't there. And uh, we tried to get those guys that made the history to come out and uh, talk about their experience, which you can't get in a textbook. Noonan High School does several events like this throughout the year. In addition, Christian City will hold their Wall of Honor event, which is open to the public this Friday. Fighting for our vets, I'm Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News. If you know a veteran not getting the care or benefits that they've earned and deserve, let us know. Email us at fightingforourvets at cbs46.com.